County, County Loud has a coastline that stretches for 70 kilometres. The Sea Loud Seafood Trail has been created to promote food producers and restaurants that specialise in seafood. There are eight producers and 49 restaurants on County Loud's scenic seafood trail. And one of them is the Bay 3 restaurant, where the chef proprietor is Connor Woods. It's great to have you here in Carningford, Nevin. Um, we're going to cook a trio of hake, prawn and scallop. I'm going to serve it with some nice um, herb veluta. Sounds great. So what's the first thing you're going to do? I have a little bit of potato gratin here. This is it here. So how have you made this? Um, we just, on the mandolin, we would do a very, very fine slice. A certain area. Look at the wafer tin. Wafer tin, yeah. And then we just cook them in the oven at 180 for about three hours and then press them. So we'll put them in the pan here. Hard to beat the spuds, isn't it? You have to. Irish people like a bit of spuds. Oh, yeah. So we'll just put that in the oven over here. Okay, and that should be. And then we'll get our hake. We always season our fish with white peppercorns. It doesn't look like it's dirty on the plate. We get our rapeseed oil. So what are the key tips now to cook at a piece of fish? Bringing it to room temperature, is it? Bring it to room yeah. temperature, yeah. Nice seasoning. We would actually brine our fish in a little brine solution so that it stays nice and firm and the seasoning goes right into the meat. Tell yeah. me about that now. It's four litres of water and then we have 150 grams of salt and we would put some lemon juice and dill in it and then bring it up to the boil and cool it. And when we have our fish um, all prepared, we'll put it in for an hour or two so it sort of seasons the fish and then tightens the meat up on it so when you're cooking it doesn't flake. It firms up the fish. It firms up the, firms That's up a really the fish. good tip. I like using the, the rapeseed oil. Gives a lovely, lovely colour. Doesn't it? And it's a nice smoke. Then. Yeah, yeah, and you can... So we let that cook. We won't move it. No, I love the look of your menu. Okay. You have, first of all, in your starters, your Carlingford oysters three ways. One is cooked, is it? One is cooked. Then we serve the other two with sort of like an Asian style dress and quite lemony and zesty. It's really, really nice. And then the Japanese style earthy and nice flavours. Sounds lovely. And I see on your main course your trio of fish. So, yeah. that, so that can vary. That, that's actually what yeah, we're doing. All here. the time, yeah. You can see the colour coming up the side of the fish here. So we'll just flip that over in the pan and then we'll put that in the oven. And just a little knob of butter. On top of the fish. That's on great. Top of okay. What temperature is the oven now? Do you put the, the fish? The oven's in? at 180 degrees okay. here. I have a little seafood velouté, white this wine, fish stock from the bones, make a stock. Then we reduce it right down to glass and then we'll add some cream in on top of that, bring it up to the boil and then that becomes our base sauce for all our fish. You're utilising the bones of the fish, which oh, yeah. is perfect. You have to use, use all of Lovely, so you're okay. just warming that through. Put a little bit of lemon in that just to raise the flavour. We're going to cook the scallops. Always lightly season your fish. And then a little bit of pepper. And white pepper, you recommend? White pepper, yeah. And again, I like brighter gold rapeseed or Slane Farm rapeseed oil because it gives a really good colour. The scallops cook really, really quick in the pan. Scallops, prawns, I love this combination. Hot pan is key. Good hot pan. And then once you get it hot, keep it on a low heat. You see lovely colour in the scallop. And then our prawns are pretty much done. I love the way that scallops caramelise, that lovely nut colour, it's gorgeous. So get our butter. So lemon juice now, is it? Always lemon juice and butter on your fish is the only way to cook it. Even what you're doing now, that's a lovely yeah. recipe for people to try at home. Oh yeah, very With easy. a little bit of pasta or rice or a salad, gorgeous. So that's those ready. I love the way you've caramelised them there. So just put them all in on that one there. Okay. Sauce is ready here, so we put all our chives in that we shaved earlier Lovely. on. Take that out of your way. Okay. So that's your veluta sauce. Just with the chives, you don't want mm -hmm. too much flavour. Plenty of flavour on your scallops. I'm sure my fish is pretty much done. For people watching, how do you know when fish is cooked? The chef way is just to check to see. It has the cousson point, which is just the point where it's just cooked. Slightly soft in the centre and firm. And then you just take it out and give it about a minute's rest. Because it's going to continue to cook, isn't it? Yeah, so well done. Good do that there and juice it a little bit on top here. Let's see where my gratins are. So I suppose it's time now to plate up. So if you want, we take this one this out. This one here. We have our nice... The colour in that. We have our spinach here, and then we'll just... And tell me about the rest of another bay three. You have rooms here, haven't you? Yeah, we've got six rooms upstairs. They're not luxury. They're nice quality rooms. We get a lot of people from the north, and we get a lot of people from all over Ireland coming to stay. Irish people always like a little bit of potato. There's a lot of work in that. I know from slicing mm -hmm. it to cooking it, and then, as you said, just crisping it up. And then we'll just put our hake here on it, and then put our scallops. You're not going to go hungry here, or something. No, we're going to share with each one of our fish. 
Will I just put the sauce? sauce Whatever you want, yeah, go for it. Soup. Connor, this looks amazing. I'm gonna start off with the scallop. Just beautifully cooked, all your little tips and techniques. Mm, I love the lemon, it's great. Look at how moist that fish is. Mm. I love your food. I can see why you've won so many awards. Well done to you and the team. Thanks very much. It's great to have you here.